All right, so another example of finding the first few terms of a sequence, and here we're going to do part A, and what we want to do is find the first three terms of a sequence that has a first term of 4, that's again, so a sub 1 equals 4, and generically we know that the nth term is going to equal, uh, so our nth term a sub n is going to equal 2 times a sub n minus 1 plus 3. Okay, so basically it says to figure out new terms, you kind of have to know about the uh, preceding terms. But in this case, we've got that little bit of information, so should not be too much of a problem. So to find the first three terms, well, we already know the first term. We know the first term's four, so there's nothing to do there. If we wanted to figure out our second term, however, according to our formula here, it says we would take two times a sub, well, n minus one. So since n is two, if we take n minus one, we'll get a sub one plus three. Well, we know the value for a sub 1, it's 4, so I'm just going to plug that in. So we'll get 2 times 4 plus 3. Well, 2 times 4 is 8. 8 plus 3 is going to give us 11. So that's our second term. Well, likewise, if we want to figure out our third term using our formula here, it says our third term is going to be 2 times a sub. Well, again, if n is 3, n minus 1 is going to have the value 2 and then plus 3. But we know our a sub 2 value is 11, so we'll get 2 times 11 plus 3. Well, 2 times 11 is 22. 22 plus 3 will be 25. So now we've got our first three terms. The first one was given to us. a sub 2 is going to equal 11, and our a sub 3 value is going to be 25. So I think we can do one more real quick. Um, suppose we're given that a sub 1 equals 2, and our a sub n is given by negative a sub n minus 1 times n plus 1 over n, and we want to get the first five terms of this sequence. So I think with the fraction here, it might be a little more, um, a little more tedious, but same idea. So we know a sub 1 equals 2. That's given to us. So to figure out a sub 2, it says we're going to take the negative of our a sub 1 value. Again, if we plug in 2, we'll get 2 minus 1. Well, our a sub 1 value was just plain old 2. And then it says we're going to take, well, n plus 1. Again, our n value is 2. So we'll get 2 plus 1 over 2. So actually, maybe this is, a, this is good. It looks like things are going to simplify rather nicely. Because here the 2's would cancel out. Um, we would be left with 3 in the numerator, but we have this negative floating around. So it looks to me like we're just going to be left with negative 3. Well, to get our third term, our a sub 3, so again, in this case, our n value is going to be 3. It says we get negative of the a sub 2 value, and then I just plug in everywhere there's an n, I'm just plugging in 3's. Well, let's see. Um, we figured out that our a sub 2 value was negative 3. So then we still have, let's see, so 3 plus 1 is going to give us 4 over 3. Our two negatives would make a positive. The 3's would cancel out. So to me, it looks like our third term is going to be positive 4. Let's see, our a sub 4 term, it says we're going to take the negative of our a sub 3 but our a sub 3 is 4. And then again, everywhere there's an n, I'm just going to plug in the value 4. So I'm going to get 4 plus 1 over 4. So just like before, the, uh, the, four, the denominator is going to cancel out with our, you know, our factor out front. It looks like we have 5 in the numerator of our fraction, but again, we have this negative sign. So it looks like we'll get negative 5. Um, last but not least, we can compute the value here of a sub 5. <clears throat> so our a sub 5 value, it says we're going to get negative of our a sub 4 value. a sub 4, again, was negative 5. So I don't want to cover up my formula here. So we get negative of the value negative 5. And then again, just everywhere there's an n, we're going to plug in 5. So we get 5 plus 1 over 5. Well, the two negatives are going to make a positive. The fives are going to cancel out. It looks like we would be left with our numerator of 5 plus 1, or 6. 
So to me, this looks, looks like now our first five terms. It looks like it's just alternating between, uh, so it's just increasing, 2, 3, 4, 5, but they're alternating signs. So positive 2, negative 3, positive 4, negative 5, positive 6. You can probably guess the next few terms if you had to. But again, that's all you're doing. Just uh, whatever your little subscript is, that's your n value. And just in our formula, everywhere there's an n, we're just replacing, with that, replacing uh, n with that value and then just doing the arithmetic.